keep driving at that. Do you think, do you think see what I see? It's feeling wing-ish. That is, this, this is the wing thing. This is. What's the, see the yellow, see the white sort of brown? That's, that's a wing. Looks like arm. That's is a, it? Is that a wing? It sure looks I like a wing. Look at the look at the shape here at the end, and look is that the end of where the flap would be well, down let's, there? Let's push Can in. Can you zoom in, please? On yeah. The, uh, on the structure there. There's a tire. Is that a tire behind it? it yeah. Is yes. A tire. That's yeah. Oh, that's oh. an aircraft. Yes. Okay, so we've got our second aircraft now. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> right under an overhang yeah. there. I can slide this way though. Um, okay. It's this totally is the s suspicious uh, object we saw on the earlier uh, yeah, mapping right. pass, right? Yeah, so we want to spend, we're going to want to spend a little time here, guys. Roger. Now the record had told so us yeah, that both of these planes had been jettisoned, and yet we found two Argus aircraft Argus here. Argus. Well, yeah, that Please depends on whether or not, as they look at this, Let's if this is the Argus. other Hellcat. Okay. So, but just going back, a variety of carrier yeah, aircraft so we were placed on board like right ships at Bikini, as well as seaplanes, uh, yeah, battleship so observation you planes, you kind of go yeah, to see what the bomb would do. Yeah. Two of the Hellcats were swept off the flight deck and were missing after ABLE, but the reports come in saying that there are two F6Fs that were stowed uh, in the hangar, port and starboard frame 65. Both of them damaged, wings bent and twisted, and the fuselage is broken aft of the cockpit. And that's certainly consistent with what we saw yesterday when we dropped into the forward hold and found an F-6F uh, broken aft of the cockpit that's with wing damage with a gun. Uh, and with its guns in place, it's 50 cals. So the fact that the um, report said that the aircraft had been jettisoned, notwithstanding, we are now we seeing are that's a, a bit, Bob, is that a 20? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the tub's that, too small. For that's me. an Ehrlichan. That's a 20, that's a 20 mil Ehrlichan, uh, single barrel. Um, so, sorry, Bob, could you just close that? Supposedly the jettisoned, line? but we're seeing Perfect. now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we were hoping that given the fact that the one hadn't been jettisoned, that number two hadn't, just didn't want to be broadcasting in advance. Right. But when Russ came down, I said, you know, there's something that looks like a wing. It's like, yeah. So, but that sure looks like a wing. It does. I mean, we'll want to get close on that. Just as a matter of clarification, this is a different uh, airplane or a different wing. We're still waiting to confirm what exactly it is that we are looking at, but not the same as the Hellcat aircraft that was inside the airplane elevator. So really excited, a uh, huge moment. And you are here right with us as we are going to sort of uh, sleuth our way through this and look for some yeah. clues here in the internal structure and in uh, what we have here left behind. That white ring is what you hear our, our archeologists discussing, not something that they expected to see painted on a wing and working on sorting out what that might be just behind a diamond tread tire. A clear, a we fairly clear up, indication that this is um, a military well, aircraft. So it looks like we have some little white puffball sponges. Um, looks like maybe some small coral colonies. I'm seeing some like pink little coral colonies. Um, that big redfish is a thorny head. We've got some um, squat lobsters sticking their claws up as well. And then we have a um, sea cucumber is that long, transparent um, organism you're seeing there as well. Uh, I think it looks it looks inverted, and you know, that could be then that could be the aileron actually, or where it would have been on the left side of the screen. Right. And the wingtip is is broken off. Well, we've got that chunk below, and I think the leading edge actually is is sheared off as well. Well, it's not every day you go through an atomic okay, blast. Okay, no. It's also really far inboard for it to be uh, any kind of national insignia. Oh, uh, come up, come up There's some questions okay. about if it could be a, a landing gear cover, keep, like a like hatch. Like the There's a no, it's, a, I think it's, over it's here. too large to okay. be that. Okay. And it, and it looks like it's it's just painted on the, the, the circular the uh, mm -hmm. area we're talking about. Like, see, like, here's... Wait a second. Huh. It's not. Is that the, that's the rudder then, the uh, the vertical tail maybe, because the tail broke off, right? 
Could it be from our? Could it be part of our other aircraft, or the back of, of the a one that we already found? Yeah. Well, we'll see. Uh, in which case, then it's not going to be on the wing. It would be on the body, right? Chime in, Megan. Like lighter Monday. I don't know. Oh. I'll chime in too. Too many Megans. <laughs> Megans and Bobs. We've got lots of them. Lots of Chris's. Yeah, that's yeah. too Chris's. extensive okay. to be. So we are waiting for a confirmation unless. about if this is okay. A so look, airplane. oh wait, no, that there's a content. Yeah, there's the rest of the circuit. See that? See that bar coming out of the side there? So that don't get confused by that bit of steel coming through. This is just wrapped around and up against that. That is an insignia, but. Yeah, no, certainly, certainly not anything to do with the tail. It's too, too substantial. Oh, yeah. the, the portion that was hidden, uh, going in. Yeah. Oh. I can look. I can turn the camera sideways and kind of fly in. That way, I can go a little more straight. The white field may have been painted on first, followed by up. blue star outline, which burned away in the Pretty able blast. Here. Says, uh, says John Lambert. And what's that rail down by the bottom, says Megan. Good question. So bear in mind that she's also, I mean, down below, as well as on the flight deck, you have TBMs mm -hmm. and SB2Cs. Um, well, yeah, and that's why that meters. perforated uh, material at the top, you know, that makes me think dive, dive break could make yeah. this, a, you know, part of an SB2C. I actually have the... What is an SBTC? Uh, uh, SB2C is okay. uh, Scout Bomber... SB and C is Scout Bomber Curtis. Okay. Uh, and the two is that's the second one, second model from uh, Curtis that, that was uh, sold to the Navy. So mm -hmm. SB2C is the Helldiver. And in the case of the ones on board, these would actually be SBF4Es. Right. Which would right. be this, uh, the Canadian Fairchild um, version of the Curtis aircraft. That's Part of the alphabet soup that is, you know, Navy aircraft so if it designation. Is, if it is, how appropriate uh, that a man from Canada is driving the <laughs> RAD. There is that. Yeah, no, good observation. Yeah, that is. That's, that's a range pole. The range pole is the striped bit you're seeing for viewers laying down along the deck just in sure. front of that orange fish. For uh, folks who are joining us brand new, could you tell us what a range pole is? Uh, those are pipes, basically, that were set... Um, on the center line of independence by the Navy we just prior to scuttling, and they would give them an opportunity to measure changes in the ship's displacement as she began her, her process of sinking. Is there any chance there was an SBD on board? A Dauntless? They basically said every type of carrier aircraft, so it's, it's possible. Can we tilt down, maybe widen out and tilt down? I want to okay, see, there, there seemed please. to be some sort of access panels missing yeah with this hole making a home inside one of them which i don't really see present on the the hell diver wing now this ship has been underwater for 65 years it was intentionally scuttled in 1951 sent down with two torpedo warheads on her keel and this is the first uh, investigation visual inspection human eyes on independence since that time you know and i'm not really seeing a uh, wing fold uh, where I would expect to, whereas you know a, a Dauntless wouldn't have, yeah, wouldn't have a wing fold mechanism at all, a wing fold break. This is just fantastic. Cooks writing in about their own family histories with independence. Uh, we've just gotten a comment that uh, this viewer's uncle served aboard the flight deck crew during the war years. Ah. Earlier had someone writing in about their father. I'm so glad that they're sharing this and that they're seeing this ship again. So many ships uh, remain either undiscovered or many were scrapped at the end of the war. And uh, a couple of guys I've talked to, you know, particularly in the past, said as much as they were sorry to see their ship on the bottom, it was better, they felt, than having uh, become razor blades.